Leaders from some of your favorite social media platforms will be grilled by lawmakers today in Washington. For more on that, let's head over to Shane in the Hive. Yeah, representatives from Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube will face Congress in just a few hours. They're going to be asked some pretty tough questions about what all they're doing to keep terrorists from using social media right here in the U.S. Greg Schaefer, founding partner of Schaefer Security Group, spent 20 years in the FBI conducting counterterrorism investigations and operations. And there's an, an unarguable connection between propaganda on the internet and terrorist attacks. To find the connection between terrorists recruiting through social media, you only have to look back to last October when Saifulo Saipov rented a Home Depot truck and killed eight people in New York. He admitted that the 90 ISIS videos on his cell phone did inspire him to connect those attacks. Even though the Center for Strategic Counterterrorism Communications was created to combat terrorist material on social media, it's estimated that for every one tweet they put out, ISIS puts out 99. That's why the government is calling on social media giants Facebook, Google, and Twitter to address the issue. Cybersecurity expert Sean Tuma believes they'll be asking one big question. We want to know what you guys are doing to help combat the way these terrorists are using your platform to promote these uh, terrorist or extremist ideas. And while there are algorithms that remove questionable content, one problem is how to determine what exactly is questionable and how to keep it from infringing on the First Amendment. How do we regulate this content on the one hand, yet allow freedom of expression on the other? That hearing will take place at 10 a.m. Eastern this morning. Senators have called the hearing hashtag is big tech doing enough? Melissa and Layla.